Michigan State overcomes sloppy start to dominate Bowling Green, 35-10 Michigan State defiantly decided to accept the opening kickoff, going on the offensive after an offseason of trials and tribulations. And then, L.J. Scott fumbled at the goal line. And then, Bowling Green hit a few long passes and kicked a field goal. After nine long months in the rear view, it suddenly felt three more long months would be ahead. But Brian Lewert remained as calm as advertised. Tyson Smith returned an interception for an emotional boost. And the Spartans slowly and surely dominated the Falcons from there. Sophomore quarterback Lewerk passed for three touchdowns, completing 22 for 33 passes for 250 yards to lead MSU to a 35-10 victory Saturday at Spartan Stadium. Box score Lewerk also ran for 69 yards on eight carries. Junior receiver Felton Davis caught a pair of touchdowns, while junior tight end Matt Sokol grabbed the other TD toss from Lewerk. Sophomore receiver Daryl Stewart also had a breakout game, catching six passes for 85 yards, running three times for 28 yards and finishing with 37 more yards on kick and punt returns. The Spartans, who won their 10th season opener in Mark D'Antonio's 11 seasons, outgained the Falcons, 465-212. They dominated time of possession, 38-01 to 20-39, and held Bowling Green to just two for 13 on third down conversions. Late in the third quarter, cornerback Smith stepped in front of a James Morgan pass and returned it 36 yards for a touchdown, that made it 35-3. Smith, a junior from Orchard Lake St. Mary's, suffered a stroke last November and did not know if he would ever play football again before being cleared by his doctors this summer. The Spartans fumbled four times, two by Scott and two by Lewerk. They lost three of them, including Scott's second to start the fourth quarter that was returned 46 yards for a Bowling Green touchdown by Cam Jeffries. Scott had two shoulder surgeries. During the offseason, which he said was meant to help with numbness he would experience when being hit. Bowling Green quarterback James Morgan threw for just 145 yards on 10 of 31 passing, but the sophomore Moore also misfired to a few open receivers who slipped behind MSU's coverage. He also was dealt with dropped passes early in the game, including one to receiver Scott Miller that would have been a touchdown after he beat MSU safety Kari Willis in coverage in the first quarter with the Falcons leading 3-0. After losing 13 underclassmen from last year's team to transfer, dismissal or the NFL draft, the Spartans went extremely young in their opener. Nine true freshmen played against the Falcons, equaling the number MSU played over the course of their entire 3-9 season in 2016. The Spartans played seven freshmen in the first half, cornerback Josiah Scott, starter, tight end Matt Dotson. Linebacker Antoine Simmons, defensive end Jacob Panasiuk, right guard tackle Jordan Reed and wide receivers Cody White and Hunter Risen. In the second half, wide receiver Laris Nelson and left guard Kevin Jarvis also made their debuts. Injury update, senior to Demetrius Cooper left the field limping after a play in the second quarter. Right guard David Beadle also left the game in the third quarter with an apparent leg injury. WRPR Brandon Sowards is out for the season. Among the others who did not dress, S. Jalen Watts Jackson, R.B. Weston Bridges, Al A.J. Arcuri, Mustafa Khalifa and Matt Carrick, and T. Hussein Kadri.